COPD stand on, on for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It's a disease that is mainly related to cigarette smoking. However, it can be acquired by many other um, exposures. It's a disease of exposure with a, make a distinction to asthma, in which is a disease of triggers, triggers mainly. The main symptom is shortness of the breath. Most of the patients are coming here because they cannot breathe the way they want to or the way they used to. Well, one important aspect that needs to be um, highlighted that we do here at Mayo Clinic is that we realize that treatment is something comprehensive. It's not just medications. It's just making sure that patients are emotionally stable, patients are physically active, and also that the tripod complete with uh, the patient getting the right treatment as far as medication or proper instrumentation. So getting to understand the comprehensiveness in which we treat COPD, it makes a big difference because patients see then what is their fit in there. So it's not just the doctor that need to treat with one medication or the other, what actually the patient can do for themselves. So that's an important part in dealing with chronic disease in which uh, these uh, specifics of what the patient can do, what the system can do, what the doctor can do, need to be clearly stated in a simple way to patients. First of all, I try to, in the COPD clinic, make people understand that health is much, much more than the absence of disease. It's a way of uh, be able to get things in perspective, to have balance. That means getting things together. So in health, it means uh, understanding and taking into account other aspects. So how active I am, I mean, what is important to me. At the end of the day, for you, for me, for everybody, we do what is important to us. So try to understand what is important to the patient, get clear goals of therapy that go beyond treatment, go beyond medication get a big impact and people feel better. And when people feel better, outcomes are better. Well, the, the whole field of bronchodilators has been expanded. However, in the few years, we've seen some anti-inflammatory therapies that in the way of antibiotics that can help people with, uh, that suffer COPD. So this has been certainly some degree of advance and, uh, but I believe that where, where we do most of the changes, most of the difference is in this comprehensiveness that we offer here at Mayo Clinic as far as seeing what it means health to the patient, what it means uh, dealing better with COPD, that many times it doesn't really require a change of medication. However, we are very attentive to it. We are trying to be on the ball. Well, uh, pulmonary rehabilitation uh, is something that is more and more paid attention to. And pulmonary re rehabilitation is actually getting renewed because now encompass the fact of physical activity. What actually they do in real life. So we not only focus on just being on the treadmill or on the bike, which is a good thing per se, mm -hmm. but also what do they do in their daily living? How much they walk, how much they move, how much they do what they want to do. So it's a, it's a different way of looking at rehabilitation. Rehabilitation comes from the word of rehab, means that rehab is to living inside again with the, with the body I have, with the situation I have. So it's kind of being here and now, and from where I am trying to go forward to another level of understanding, another level of living with COPD, that it may not be less fruitful even when the lung may still be the same way. Well, I think that uh, one important thing is not to set in stone what is going to be a prognosis as far as survival. Mm -hmm. Because we know now how much environment, that means our mind or how we believe, how we work or how we live, actually can affect the way our cells I mean, reproduce, our genes express. So prognosis can be different if you have engaged your life in a very life, I mean, open lifestyle way comparing to if you do nothing. So they open the possibility for the patient to say, well, maybe there's a lot I can do for myself.